Hello everybody. How are you doing today? Or this evening? It is evening for me. About 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. And I just thought I would go ahead and try these new colors I got. On a, This is a 9 by 12. And I'm just going to do a dirty pour. I'm not going to do no swirls for a while. <laughs> There's just some things I am not good at, and that's swirls. Or the tree ring. But you know what? Those are hard because you have to stay steady for so long. And I'm just, yeah, I don't have the patience for that one. But I'm going to keep practicing, you know. And that's what it takes. If you can't do it, you just keep practicing and you'll learn that technique. There are so many different techniques to uh, pour painting. And, um, you know, even the best pour painters are still learning some of the techniques. So, <laughs> I'll get it though. And because it, my paint was selling up so much, I was getting so many cells. It was just, you couldn't even tell it was a tree ring. I don't know if you'd look back at those last videos. You can see that they actually look pretty good until they start selling up. <laughs> so, eh, I'll get it right. Let's see, I got this beautiful green today at Michael's. It's an artist loft, which is a nice paint. It's thicker, but you know, Craft Smart's just as good. But I went ahead and got this because I've heard of this so much and I've seen it. Uh, being painted with it's called Fatheo Green. Fatheo Green. And I've heard of this one too, so it's Metallic Cobalt Blue. And this is beautiful. They're just beautiful. I hope I picked matching colors. We'll see. Now, this is a French teal, so it's between a green and a blue. Yeah. Called French Teal. And it is a multi-service premium chalky acrylic. So, we've got three different types here so far. We have metallic, regular, and a chalky. So, it's okay to mix paints. As long as your consistencies are the same. And then I'm using my favorite black, which is the Onyx Metallic. Love this black. It's nice and like licorice. It's not gray like the other stuff I buy. Anyway. Um, yeah, these, you know, this is only like $1.50. And at Walmart, you can pay 50 cents for, there's a licorice that's just as good too. And it's called licorice. And it's really dark black. So I used to use that. Now if I ever get to Walmart again and remember it, I'm going to get me a whole bunch of those. So there's nothing wrong with Apple Barrel and Craft Smart. You don't have to have expensive paint to make beautiful paintings. Just get your consistencies right and don't overwater your paints and take away the colors and um the only thing that I have heard of happening which has never happened to me but there is well this is not it I don't have any more but it looks like this it's in a bottle like this apple barrel this is a pewter gray. This is a Walmart. And it's the Mate acrylic paint. And that you can get cracking. And another word that the paint pourers use is crazing. And so I would suggest, if anything, getting the gloss apple barrel white. Because I never had a problem with it, but some people have the white apple barrel but you know 
they, I don't know why exactly. They might have their peak too thick. But yeah, you know, a lot of times they say you get what you pay for. Well, I think apple barrel's fine. I think they're all good. And the only thing that I would suggest is getting the satin white apple barrel. Or the gloss, I mean. Other than that, yeah, the $17 tube of craft so, uh, paint is the same just about exactly. I mean, you know, it's higher quality. It's got more pigmentation in it, pigments and all that. But, you know, we can't afford that. Some people can't. And I know I can't. So I stick to the cheaper ones. Now, there's also... The Liquitex, which is four $4.99. That's the Basics Liquitex, and this is thick too. It's more thicker, so you just need a little bit more full trawl, a little bit more water. And then the Artist Loft is only three ninety nine here in America, you know, in the Michael's store, so... Yeah, and these the the Craft Smart. You know the metallics run about a dollar fifty. And then let me see. I'll find just a regular Craft Smart. There we go, seventy cents. So, real good stuff. No problem with that stuff at all. All right. One of these days, I will try to have a beginner tutorial set up just to give you the basics to begin paint pouring. Um, yeah, I will. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this black. So 9 by 12, oh my goodness, I forgot to check my chart, so let's see, that would be about 4 ounces, yeah, because the 12 by 12 is 5 ounces, and this is a 9 by 12, so it's got to be about 4.5 to 5 ounces, so up to this line would be 3 ounces, just about right below that line. I know I talked a lot, but yeah. Oh, that's not too much black too. Just pour out a little bit more. <laughs> I'm so doubtful when it comes to the black. It's beautiful. That's the cobalt blue. Just beautiful. Now, I hope I'm not going to get flooded with cells. Because I did change my consistency just a little. That's plenty paint. It's actually too much. Yeah, I had to do a little bit less flow troll because flow troll will cause cells. Anyway, I'll explain all that. Let's see here. What was I going to do like this? Beautiful. Oh, 
planning to use too much of it. Some lady asked me the other day, she said, I want to see you. And I'm like, you see my picture <laughs> on the YouTube. There's my picture there. And she's like, but we like to see people. And, we're, and I'm like, well, I, I'm overweight. And I don't like people seeing me. I'm very self-conscious. So I will someday. It's just beautiful stuff. Ooh wee. I'll hold that up. And who really does like to be filmed anyway? You know? I'm not here to look at me, we're here to look at the pictures. <laughs> So yeah, I hope I have enough paint here. It should. I didn't use any white because that French teal is pretty bright. So if I added white, I was afraid that it's just going to be too bright. But these are beautiful colors, I think. We'll see. Maybe the black I put too much in. It looks like it's graying up, actually. I'm not liking that too much. This pretty. Barely used enough. That's beautiful. Those are pretty, pretty colors. I'm going to center this back to the center now. You don't want it all on one edge. You don't want it all, all on one side either. If you want to center your paint. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. I like it. Wow. Those are beautiful colors. No wonder everybody uses them. <clears throat> of 
Glad to see it. it's not all popping up with cells. I never thought there'd be a day where I was actually saying I didn't want cells. <laughs> yeah, you just get to the point where it's like, I don't like it. It's too ugly, just loaded with them. Okay, let me make sure I ain't got nothing chunky in there. If you do not want that drying with something in there chunky, I love how it's got this cloudy right here, cloudy up here. Let's just gorgeous. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Real pretty. Beautiful how it has this, uh, what was that called? Metallic cobalt blue. In here you can see it very well. We shimmer here with the green in it, which is really cool. Yeah, I got that little swirl with the green mixture. Right there. Very beautiful. I love this area too. Well, I really like this one. It put parade. And uh, so, yeah, cobalt, metallic cobalt blue, and fatheo green. That's the one I like. I think this French teal did not show a whole bunch up. I think it mixed with the black. You don't see it too much. It mixed in there. But it's all good because I like it. I actually love it. Okay. Well, I hope you do too. And I will catch you tomorrow doing some more because I got some other colors I'm looking forward to do this using um, I'm gonna be using what is this one? Oh, sapphire for the first time just beautiful metallic Wow love it and then I have just lots more paint today I spoiled myself at the craft store you know going to the craft store for Somebody that paints is like going to a candy store. A kid going to a candy store. It's exactly how it feels. It's like, yes! <laughs> so, I was able to get me some good prices on the 50% off of the canvases. So, I think that sale was going on until the... Uh, 16th actually Father's Day so you can get yourself just the not the value pack not the $40 ones but the $20 ones you can get 50% off which is a really good good deal and that's it you know I'll go ahead and I'll start preparing some uh, a, a beginner tutorial just to let you know what you need and now you kind of know how to do it and then we'll I do have a video on here how I mix my paint so that would be a good way to start learning you know the two parts flow troll one part paint one part water like that learning that technique and then we'll go from there and that's it all right guys it's been fun 
Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Stay positive. Stay smiling. And, geez, just follow your heart. Have a good one, guys. You're all awesome. Take it easy. Bye-bye.